tradition of made in Kern County this morning. They've been in business for more than 60 years. And odds are you've tasted their bread. Camby, what am I talking about here? We are talking about Pyrenees Bakery. This is the big mixer out here. You can see this is Fidel. Fidel's getting ready to get this going. This is pretty much automated over here, right, Rick? Yep. What are we taking a look at? Well, you're looking at the big mixer that we mix all of our doughs with right now. And this is actually flour in here? That, that's, that comes out of the silo that we have out in the parking lot. And it actually comes in pneumatically, fills up this bin, and then uh, you know they'll punch the numbers into the computer, sucks it up through the, through the sifter, and then dumps it in. And it's, uh, it's pretty slick. Yeah, and this, if, if, when this opens up, guys, you can see there's huge mixers that turn the dough and are able to process that. Now, we're going to show you guys a smaller mixer. Let's take it back through here. You can see over here where Fidel's working, they have a smaller mixer. And you guys, they do about three to 4,000 loaves here every single day. How many tons of dough are we talking about? Well, uh, we'll do anywhere from a ton and a half to two tons. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Mainly they are only sold here in Kern County, but you guys do get requests for people to ship out of state, right? Yeah, we actually ship it all over the states. Okay, pretty amazing here. Now this is a smaller mixer. What do you guys have going in here right now? This is the one we make all of our sponges with. So you, we have to have a sponge to mix our doughs with. We don't use bases or any kind of box thing. Everything is made scratch. So we start with actually a little tiny ball of dough about this big. Okay. And then we'll mix it and it'll go into something like this. And then we'll just keep building it and building it until eventually we get a sponge that's going to be coming out here in a minute. You're building it and building it with what? Are we talking you're adding flour? We're what adding are you adding? We're adding flour, we're adding water, and we're letting it sit for about four hours between each mix to let it kind of fermentate, if, if you will. So give us an idea of time. That big mixer that we first saw about, how much does it take to, to make that bread? And, and how much as far about as? How, about how long? Um, it takes about probably eight minutes to mix it okay. in there. And, and, then, and then once that process is started, you actually have the end result about four or five hours later. And what about for this smaller mixer? Uh, this is about a six minute mix. Okay, and how, about how far out are we now from this being done? You are probably about 30 seconds out. Okay, 30 seconds. So we want to wait that 30 seconds because what's going to happen is this is going to open up and then where's that dough going to go? He's going to dump her right into this thing and, and it kind of flies out of there. Okay, and then I hope it's, it's not going to fly at us, right? Well, well, we probably ought to stand over here a little bit just in case. Okay, so <laughs> it comes out of here. It flies out at us. I'm a little nervous now. Yeah, well, no, I'm not, it doesn't fly, but yeah. Uh, okay, so it comes out here and then where does it go after you guys put it in here? And it, let's move oh, over here to the out. side. Now you got me all scared Rick of this darn dough. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna. It's actually gonna go to the back, and then he's gonna cut sections off of this to make his dough with. Okay, perfect. All right, so you guys can see that big mixer right there as it's coming out. And now I don't see anything flying yet. What is he sticking in there, right? Uh, he's. It's a thermometer. We we need that that sponge to be right around 80 degrees. Okay, so if it's not at that temperature, then what happens? He'll mix it a little more, and then uh, and then dump it. So. Which, oh, and it looks like it, it needs to be like mixed a make. little more. Okay, well, good. We didn't have to worry about any flying. Flying, any flying dough today. Hey, listen, we're talking about Pyrenees Bakery. Since we've been here like the past 10 minutes, the front end where they sell all the breads has already been busy. So uh, it's been a production here this morning, let me tell you guys. Hey, Campy, how's it smell in there? Uh, it smells delicious. Right? I would imagine so. I would imagine yeah, so. Yeah, I told, I told Rick pretty much the only reason I booked this segment is so I can eat his bread for free. <laughs> You know, leftovers, again, can be always welcome. So Bring fresh baked bread. Over. We'll see. Kern County segment, seeing the secret to their recipe. Now, are they really giving away all the secrets, Canby? No. I didn't think I'm so. I'm trying to get the secrets. Of and course And shouldn't not, you be wearing then... a hairnet? I, want, I just want to see you wear a hairnet. You want me to wear a hairnet? I just want to see you wear one. I think Rick, it'd be fun. Do, do I need to be wearing a hairnet back here? Uh, it, it, normally, yeah, they have to wear hats or something on their on their hair, but okay. we're not going to let you really. But you're not actually anything, making so. anything. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really touching anything except this dough right here. Bam! Look at this. Okay, so we showed you the mixer, right? And then if you see that little tin right below, that's where the dough actually comes out to. Then the, the, that bin is actually risen. You can see it's up here, and then well, it's, there's no dough in there now because it's up here. And now you can see these little balls of dough. It actually separates it out itself. And we can see the dough going around. And then this is my favorite part right here. 
as it spins around and around and around, and then it ends up over here. Now, Rick, what is, why is it going on uh, over here? What's, what's going on with this rotator? Well, the, the idea of this is that once the, the roll drops into this end, it gives it about 45 minutes before it actually gets to this end and is molded. So it gives it a little bit of proofing time before it actually gets molded. That's the, that's the idea. Okay, and then we can take you guys around over here where it actually starts to get molded. So it's sitting on there, and then we can see as it's dropped down here, and it actually looks pretty good when it starts to come out here. And now, does it need any more molding after that? No, this is this is it. They now they'll place it in the in the trays here, and uh, they'll eventually put this in the steam box to let it proof up. Okay, perfect. And so, and about how long does that take? Four hours or so? Yeah, it, it depends on the dough. Sweet dough doesn't take as long as sourdough, so uh, you know the sweet dough is probably going to be in there for maybe an hour and a half. You know, at the most, sourdough will be in there for anywhere from two to three hours. Now, this is the back end, guys, where they're actually doing all the making of the dough. But in the front end is where they're doing the selling. Whoa, what just happened right there? A bunch of, uh, some dough just shot out. Oh, I see, I see. I was like, what is going on over there? Uh, so listen, so in the front end, that's where they sell the bread. So if you wanted to come pick this up, it is on uh, East 21st Street, 717. Come by and say hi. Mary Ann is actually working the front end. Uh, she is Rick's aunt and has been running this place. In fact, Rick remembers being on a tricycle back here, growing up here at Pyrenees Bakery. How cool is that? What a cool childhood. So, uh, Camby, do they just have like loaves of bread around just to munch on all day long? Yes. That's awesome. And I am definitely going to be munching on them in the 8 o'clock hour. I've been holding off. But we I'm going to get to eat it like straight out of the oven. We need that around here, I think. Just a nice bakery section here. Candy. Do we? Because the camera adds 10 pounds, so we probably don't. Yeah, we don't <laughs> need to add 10 more. You're right. Candy, thank you very much. County at Pyrenees French Bakery, finding out just how it all works. Yes, that's right. In fact, I was just finding out that you may think you've never tried Pyrenees bread, maybe because you've never bought it out here, but if you've ever been somewhere like Sequoia, if you grocery shop at Vaughn's or Albertsons, chances are you've seen it or eaten it. Now, earlier I showed you inside here. Okay, I expected this to be a cooler. No, it's not. It's sort of like a sauna. Okay, so the guys are actually bringing out the dough here, and you'll be able to see what it looks like as they bring it out. This is where they put the dough. We showed you how they mold it, and so you can see how it's how it's a uh, it rises, and so then they're able to take it over to the oven. So we're just gonna follow along here with them as they get ready to bake the bread. Now they're actually gonna put it in the oven. It's a brick oven, technically. Uh, but it's not going to look like those old brick ovens. They don't use those anymore. This is for the harder bread, for the hard crusted bread. And then they actually do still have bricks on the inside that the bread will sit on. So Rick, Rick uh, has actually, his family has owned this for more than 60 years. Rick, what are they going to be doing now? Okay, well, they're going to be pulling the bread out that's been proofing for about an hour, hour and a half. And then they're going to be slicing it. The tops, that's what gives us our little flare, and then they'll be placing it right on the shelves there. And these shelves are made out of brick. Okay, and so how many loaves can fit into this oven? A lot. I don't know. I've never really counted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so about how long, once it gets put in the oven, then about how long are we talking about before it comes you're, you're out? Talking, it's about an hour. About it it an goes hour. through about four rotations before they can uh, think about bringing it out. We have a three-pounder that's a very large loaf, and it needs a little bit longer time. Rolls will come out a little bit sooner, but these ones right here will probably be there about an hour. Okay, and again, this is for the bread that has a harder crust. They have a different oven where they put the bread that is a softer crusted bread. So they're gonna about to be doing the transfer. They're also going to be taking out the loaves as well. How can you tell and know that these are ready to go here, Rick? Well, you can have the, if you can kind of touch it. And if it's just a little bit sticky, but not real sticky and a little bit moist, you know it's ready to go into the oven. Okay. And so they'll be doing that, guys. They make over three to 4,000 loaves of bread here at Pyrenees. And again, not only can you pick it up here at 717 East 21st Street, but you can also pick it up at various grocery stores along t around town. And now what is he using? It almost looks like a pin. Yeah, it's a little score knife. It's, it's something that we have to have brought in. They're very, very sharp and he just slightly cuts that top. He doesn't go real deep, just enough to let it open up while it's cooking. Okay. 
Oh, wow, I see. I see how it's looking. Okay, perfect. All right, so coming up, guys, we'll be showing you as we take out the uh, bread out of the oven. You can see this is going to take about another hour, hour and a half before these loaves are done. Guys? Looks amazing, Camby. Thank you very much. Trying to find out their secret recipe. Do we know it yet? Do we have all the ingredients? Oh. No. They will not tell me. I know one thing. Yeast. Well, that You're makes welcome. sense. <laughs> uh -huh. Listen, I've been in here for like almost two hours, and I haven't eaten any bread yet, and that is stopping right now. This is right out of the oven, and I'm about to eat this baby. Mm. First of all, it smells delicious. It smells amazing in here. LJ, you want some of this? Whoop. Okay. <laughs> and is this just a regular mm. French bread or sourdough yeah. or? Oh, this is good. Is this, is this sourdough that I'm tasting? This is sourdough, yes. Yeah, this is amazing. I love sourdough, sourdough bread. Crust sourdough. Yeah, me too. I love this sourdough bread. And it is still warm too, by the way. It tastes amazing. How did your family get into doing this, Rick? Well, when my grandfather was 18, he moved over here from Europe, and uh, he was a sheep herder for a little while, and then he went to work for a, a bakery down in L.A., and after a couple of years, he thought, you know, I think this is what I would like to do. They moved to Bakersfield, bought this, which was a currently, it was the current city bakery, yeah. and they turned it into the Pyrenees Bakery. Okay, pretty amazing. How long have you guys been here? More than 60 years, I know that. What yes. year did you guys start? Uh, 45. 1945. Now, Here's the deal, guys. You can see these are like packaged right here. They're getting ready to go. People are going to come pick them up or they'll deliver them over to them. So they're all set up for their order.